Different vehicles, bull bars and personal preferences often means the gearbox engagement lever on your winch is not exactly where you'd like it. A great fit feature of the Sherpa 4x4 winches is that this can easily be adjusted to suit personal preference. Today we're going to run through the steps to rotating the gearbox on a Sherpa 4x4 winch. As there are six bolts holding the gearbox together, there are six possible positions to rotate the lever around. Once the desired rotation is known, you can undo the winch cross member support bars. These will need a 5mm Allen key and the usual lefty loosey anti-clockwise rotation will undo them. The gearbox can now be separated from the drum and motor. Next, using a 3mm Allen key, we'll be undoing the six gearbox assembly bolts. It is important to undo these bolts in a cross order to allow the gearbox to separate evenly. Internal springs compress when the gearbox is assembled, so loosening in a cross pattern will help these to decompress evenly. Once all bolts are completely undone, the gearbox can be separated. The sealing o-ring will likely have slipped into the gears on the disassembly, so now is the time to carefully remove this and store it for later. Rotate or index the gearbox lever relative to the mounting feet. In this video, we've rotated to the 9 o'clock position. Refitting the gearbox housing can take a little jiggling. You need to get the planetary gears to mesh with the ring gear. You also need to ensure the bolts align to the thread. Springs hold the housings slightly separated and these can help with alignment while you get the bolt threads started. Taking the gearbox out of the engaged position can sometimes help the gears to move and assist with alignment. Once you have the bolt threads aligned and started, tighten the gearbox assembly in a similar fashion to disassembly, turning opposite bolts a few turns at a time, allowing the gearbox housing to come together in an even fashion. Once the gearbox is closed to about a 1-2mm to mil gap, the sealing o-ring can be refitted. Take care when stretching it over the engagement lever and ensure it drops into the sealing face and not into the gears. Continue to tighten in a cross pattern technique until all bolts are home. The gearbox housing is aluminium so there is no need to over tighten these bolts. Once they are firm with a small allen key you can stop. Next we suggest you swap the cross member assembly arms from the motor side to the gearbox side. This will make aligning the winch internal drive coupling a little easier. Lay the winch gearbox end down, install the drive shaft and adapter gear. Next the drum can be installed and some jiggling and rotation will help the gears to mesh. Relocate the motor drive coupling from the motor output shaft to the drive shaft. Next the motor is to be installed. This is a far simpler task with a second person aiding. Take note of the coupling orientation versus the motor shaft before attempting realignment. Either can be rotated by hand as necessary to help with alignment. Lift the motor into position and again jiggle until a little engagement is felt. You know when the shaft is properly seated as it suddenly drops in about half an inch. Once the motor shaft is engaged into the drive coupling, the winch will butt up nicely to the cross brace support bars. Tighten the cross brace support bar bolts to prevent the winch from coming apart. Check all bolts are tight before resuming your winch installation.